Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is 1920 Gaming. This is our manager's journey here with Warsaw and this is FIFA 20 career mode. And we've gone for a little bit of a change of pace today. Uh, what we're going to do today is take a look at where the club is. Uh, as you'll know, uh, you can see that even now, uh, if we was to advance, we'd be moving towards January. Which is for me the unofficial, I suppose, halfway point of the season. So it's a good time to just uh, stop, take stock of where we're at. Obviously, we know how we're doing on the pitch. Uh, things have been on an upturn. Uh, the last couple of episodes in terms of performances, um, our results have been consistent all season. There's not really, at the moment, a problem there. And long may that continue, by the way. Um, so, yeah, it's where the rest of the club's at, off the pitch, we, uh, is where we're going to look at today. And, yeah, let's jump into it. So, for me, a good place to start uh, would be the objectives. So, first, the, before we move into the objectives that are on the screen, uh, one of us that are set at the beginning of the season has already been ticked off about uh, using the first 10 games better, so we've definitely, definitely done that. Um, we're managing to get all of our best players into the starting eleven because if you remember back to last season, it took us a good while to find a way to do that. But we hit that instantly this season, so that's another good one. Um, we definitely wanted to stay successful at home and we've done that as well as improving our away form which has improved no end I think we're actually unbeaten away at the moment this season uh, we wanted to bring the leasing trophy back and we're managing to do that we're really deep in that competition now uh, but obviously we've not done it yet we have done better in the Carabao Cup this season. We'll see how we get on with the FA Cup. We've actually got a cup game coming up in the next episode. Uh, the FA Cup, that is. And the other objective that I set for myself was to actually win the division. And we'll be taking a look at where we are, for those who don't know, in the league uh, a bit later on in the episode. So if we move on to the club's objectives now, uh, as you can see, the youth development one, we have looked at it before. We're well on track with that this season. We've got two players that are almost ready. They just need to go up one more in there overall. We'll see them later on in the episode. And that completes the whole lot of that, really, then. Um, there's more than enough games to get them on the bench uh, for the five games that are needed this season. Or is it ten? I think it might be both. But, yeah, they can occupy it occupy a place on the bench that's not an issue and then next season they'll hopefully be good enough to jump in and play at least 50 percent of the games maybe uh even if we can just get them on as a sub brand exposure we've got no control over we've got no continental things to worry about and of course the domestic one um i'll differ slightly with the board here because understandably they want us to get promoted automatically. But myself, as we've already touched on, I want the cup. I want us to be first place. The FA Cup at the moment, we're in the round of 64. So if we can get past Crawley, that one gets ticked off as well. Um, so yeah, we're on track there, which we really need to be. Because if you look at my manager's rating, that's awfully worrying just at the moment. And then the financial one. Um, was to bring down the club the club wages um, or stop growth by 20% it was one of them uh, it will pop up in a second but there was no way that we was going to do that because the wages that we paid players to come in last season uh, during the, transfer, the January window um, bumped up the wage bill no end but we did save money from transfer fees which obviously is how that works so I'm not too fussed about that one. Obviously the club is. Uh, so we really need to get this domestic success one done. And we also need to get the youth development one looked after. Then hopefully I'll be able to keep my job and keep pushing us forward next season. Now with the domestic uh, objective in mind, it seems like a good time to just take a quick look at the league table. As you can see now, uh, things have changed a little bit. Um, Peterborough have dropped below Coventry. And QPR have dropped below us. Um, 25 games in, 22 wins, 2 draws, 1 loss. You can't really moan at that. 
we got 77 goals for, 21 against, uh, giving us that 56 goal difference and 68 points from 25 games. Um, we're not the best defensively in the league, but that's not something that I was looking for. Um, I, I said last season that we were leaking goals, obviously, and I wanted to tighten it up. I think we've tightened it up a bit. But um, obviously, tactically now, we're playing a lot higher up the pitch. So we probably are a little bit easier to score past. But we're banging in a hat full of goals at the moment now that we're playing more on the front foot. So that's not something which I'm too worried about. And uh, if the worst come to the worst at the moment, we'll look at the difference. We're 24 points clear of MK Dons in 6th. So I would say we've definitely probably already secured a place in the playoffs. Obviously that's not what I'm looking for, but uh, it's sport, it's football, anything can happen, as we know. Um, but as long as we stay focused and concentrated, I think we'll definitely go up automatically. Um, the league itself is what I want, but with just one point in it, obviously it's far too early to say yet. But yeah, I'm happy with where we are at the moment. And like I said, um, talking about stuff on the pitch, the performances have picked up in the last couple of games. Um, since we beat QPR, really, that was a really tough one. But then we went and thrashed the two teams after in terms of performance. And obviously one of them, one of the games after, I'm just trying to remember, I think it was Wimbledon. Uh, we banged six in past them, so... Yeah, we're definitely on the up again, which is what we want to see. And moving on for that, we've jumped into the Youth Academy. Uh, these are the players at the moment that we've got in there. We've got ourselves Dave Smith here. He's been with the club for a while now, uh, down in the academy. He's a six foot seven, left footed CDM. Uh, as you can see there, he's got decent physical stats. His agility is bound to be down a little bit due to the fact that he is six foot seven, but uh, uh, all round for his age, he's not bad physically. Technically, he could do with a little bit of work, but that's uh, Dave Smith anyway. Um, he's got competition for his place, uh, along with Oscar Thomas here. Uh, he's a different kind of CDM. 5 foot 10, they're both left footed though, but for me it's the potential that's swinging things his way at the moment. Again, decent athletically for his age, it seems like mid 60s is about where you're going to be at that age. Uh, his technical stats need more work than Dave Smith's do, but just out of his potential, if I had to pick one of the two, it would be Oscar. And we've got Rob Wilson here, who's got uh, decent speed and uh, technical ability as well on the left wing. Or left midfield, depending how you see it. And then you've got Kenneth Evans, same sort of thing. Uh, massive potential with him as well. And he's really good athletically, but again, he would need a lot of technical work. So that too is in our academy just at the moment. So now we're going to take a look away from the youth team, um, the well, the youth academy to the the main squad. And as usual, I'm just going to scroll down the players. Um, and if you want to take a look at any of them more in depth, you can just pause the video. And we're going to go like we normally do from the most appearances down to the least. Um, as a little summarisation, um, players that stood out this season, I would say McKeith's had a really strong season, uh, being moved from centre back to right back uh, where we've needed him. Um, Fosu Mensa's had a good uh, debut season, as has uh, Tamori. Giles has done really well as a starter. Uh, I have enjoyed using Clark and I'm a bit gutted that we're going to have to put him on the list now. Um, this guy here, Harrison, has been the standout new performer uh, in what's really been a breakout season for him. Uh, Morgan, Ed Morgan, has been my favourite, no doubt. Uh, he's having an absolutely blinding season. Uh, I knew he was going to come good. I kept showing faith in him, and this is the season where he has come good. 
but this uh, that's on the screen now is uh, the most thing that I wanted to draw attention to when I've just found it out myself. Um, if you look at it here, the other two players that I was just on are on plus nines because I've been training them all season for the club objective. But here we've got five players who to me are dead players and three of them are in the first team. Uh, which is worrying and what I mean by dead players is the fact that it looks like they've reached their overall even with dynamic potential um, Lavery, Cam Solba and have had a brilliant season last season statistically played really well but they showed no growth whatsoever now they're going to continue to get older but they're not going to get any better which for me means regrettably they're going to have to go on the transfer list because the, the value is just going to drop the order that they get. And with their overall not going up, obviously, yeah, they're going to have to just go on the list, which is a gutting way to end the episode, but I am going to end it here. Um, if you want some kind of summary, I suppose... I feel the club's in a really, really good place, but we have got more work to do now um, due to we've got to replace these players that we've just found. But other than that, yeah, I would say we're in a really healthy place. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.